always investigating. 7 News looking into a possible serial robbery spree targeting women. Detectives in Thornton are investigating two attempted robberies yesterday. In Superior, a woman's purse was snatched at an ice rink, and 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen found out there was a similar robbery in Weed Ridge. Jacqueline joining us now live. The victim you talked to, Jacqueline, is worried. That's right. You know, in this ice rink parking lot yesterday afternoon, the thieves grabbed a woman's purse at gunpoint. If it's related to those other robberies, one victim I spoke to said she's worried these guys aren't going to stop. Hello. At this Thornton gas station. 20 on two. Jennifer Giles. Thank you. I love that shirt. Recognizes her regular about? customers. Take care. You too. So when this Toyota Camry seen here on surveillance video pulls up. They had their jackets bunched up around their heads just sitting on their shoulders. So that made me already like something's not right here. She wasn't surprised when the driver shows his gun. And he was like, empty the register. I looked at him and said, nope. Closed my window, turned around, laughed and walked away. Fortunately, the driver just takes off. But Thornton police say 20 minutes later, two men matching the description try to steal a woman's purse in this Costco parking lot. She fell down. They take off again. An hour after that. I needed to cover to the Superior Ice Rink. We had a robbery just occurred at gunpoint. Police are investigating whether those same men were finally successful at this Superior Ice Rink. 7 News has learned Weebridge police are also investigating a potentially related robbery at another gas station the day before. They're terrorizing people. That's all they're doing is terrorizing people. Giles is worried they'll keep targeting women Thank you. take some comfort feeling like she had the last laugh. Because I knew, seen the gun and I knew it wasn't real, I think that's why I acted the way I did. It didn't bother me none. If it would have been a real gun, it probably would have been a different story. Hello. <laughs> Back to work. And in all of these instances, the men were driving a silvery sedan or Toyota Camry. Now, I spoke to Weak Ridge Police. They say now that they've been flagged about this potential c connection, they will be communicating with all of the uh, robbery detectives to try to figure out if these cases are related. They say it's very common once these robbers get started on a spree like this, they'll keep going until police stop them. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.